everyone to take two things away from tonight. Everyone's noticing the big picture. Everyone is noticing the Kansas City Championship rematch against Dak Draper. Yes, but the second thing that no one has noticed is that I'm still standing. Blaine Meeks, you know you had that coming because you picked and you picked and you picked and you picked until you'd gone too far. I lost my knee, but I'm gonna face Dakota on September 2nd and he's gonna have to take my life if he thinks that I'm not walking out of there with the NWO Kansas City Championship. The games were over, the games turned to battles, and Captain KC, the battle turned into a war. Dak, you had your shot. So when Blaine Meeks and I face off one-on-one -on -one for the NWL Kansas City Championship, he's gonna be in there with a different guy than he faced the last time. But there's something my father used to tell me, and that's to get something you've never had before, you have to do something you've never done before. When I get disrespected, I get disrespectful. Shame on you. Wow, if that did not get you excited for our main event, I don't know what can. Blaine Meeks and Doc Draper have been at each other's throats for months. And this main event, a no disqualification match, will hopefully settle it. That's right. I mean, this seems like something that the entire company has been built around since our inception is this rivalry between Dak Draper and Blaine Meeks, even before the title came into the picture. And that's why I think this is more about their rivalry than the title. I cannot wait for this meeting. But let's, I'm Ben Miller. And I'm Marty Bell. Let's start off with our first matchup tonight, which is Maverick issuing an open challenge to anybody in the locker room. It should be an interesting match. Then we have our tag team tournament match. The Howlets face the besties in the world for a spot in the finals. That's right. And then in our main event, as we said at the top of the show, Blaine Meeks takes on Dak Draper for the NWOKC Championship in a no disqualification matchup. Well, let's talk about our opening contest. Maverick, the, maybe the toughest guy in the NWL, has issue, is going to issue an open challenge to anybody in the NWL locker room. Maverick has a lot of confidence going out there and doing that. You know, I, I've got to give it to the Raging Bull. He does have a lot of confidence, but this could backfire. We don't know who's going to be coming out there, but let's head down to the ring and see. And check out the great NWL action later tonight on your television sets. Welcome into another episode of NWL TV, and we are starting off with the horns yeah. of the Raging Bull Maverick. We don't know, our, our format sheet doesn't say who he's wrestling, but doesn't really matter. Because this guy can run through anybody, much like a, a bull that he is, through a matador cake, man. Or a bull through a china shop, whatever, whatever analogy you want to make. One thing's for sure is that the Raging Bull Maverick says he is going to issue an open challenge tonight, and that extends to anybody in the NWO locker room. I wonder who it's going to be. I don't know. Who wants to become a champion in the NWL? Who wants to try to go through Maverick to become a champion? I doubt too many people want to take that. But we'll see. I'm, I'm sort of mesmerized, Ben, by the illustrious hair of Drew Gold. I mean, this is the first time he's really letting it all hang out. And I am just, I'm pretty jealous, actually. I wonder if this is all the money that he gets for managing all these talents. And he must spend it on hair products. I mean, Look how illustrious his hair looks. And there's your NWL STL champion, Maverick, and his mouthpiece, he the Svengali of Drew Gold. People of Kansas City, I have a very special message this week. I actually have an apology for all the children in the audience and the children watching at home. Because you see, since the moment you were born, your parents have diapered your bottom and they've said things to you like, if you work hard, you can be anything you want to be. My parents told me that. And kids, that was a bold-faced lie. What? Because you, <laughs> much like your loser parents, will never reach anywhere near the magnitude of success, near the magnitude of good looks, near the magnitude of dominance as the raging bull. Maverick! He's just being honest, Ben. He's just telling the kids out there that it's the a lie. The fact of the matter is, Maverick is so addicted to dominance and carnage that the people in the back 
are afraid to sign on that dotted line to face him for that championship. So I am begging that NWL locker room. I am begging the NWL brass. Send us somebody. Send us somebody that can give him some competition. NWL, I'm begging you. I wonder who it's going to be. Who is who is Major based and Nobody. hand selected, or who is who is going to be man enough to step up to the hardest hitter in the NWL, the NWL STL champ? Oh, who is it? Oh, oh of course. I should have known. What? And that's the oh, yeah. challenge has been answered by one of the most fearless competitors in the NWL, Thor Terrio. Does he know what he's getting into? Does he understand why he's coming out here? I don't. I think he has, he has another match later tonight. It's not because he's tough enough to come out here. No way. No one's tough enough to face Maverick. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, answering the open challenge of Maverick from Lincoln, Nebraska, weighing 218 pounds. This is the explosive Thorterio. No, I may not see eye to eye with Midnight Guthrie on on all on all occasions, but uh, I will see. I, I will say, Holly Borterio Explosive is so apropos for this athlete. This guy is one of the most explosive athletes in the NWL, and he is only getting better and better as time goes on. Okay, here. Ben, he beat Jeremy Wyatt. That was fine. He finally. He finally beat the greatest wrestler in the Midwest. Okay, wonderful. By the way, and, I, was talking Michael to, I was talking to Midnight Guthrie earlier. He told me he's going to acting classes now on the side. You deserve a choice. We're here to give it to you. This is X1051. More music, less talk, all day. 105 minute nonstop X blocks at 8 a.m., noon, and 4 p.m. us together a new alternative for kansas city x 1051 smashes and sure enough he connects with the face of maverick in that turnbuckle maverick feeling that right now and thor he better capitalize when he's got the big man stunned oh hard knife edge chop and you heard that reverberate through every corner of the scottish right temple <laughs> come on maverick no! Well, there's many times in the office where I wish I could just randomly go up to people and hit and chop them right across the chest, because that, that looks like it hurts. Well, that's why we have HR here. You can't do that here. You can do it in the ring. Ben, you want to get in the ring? You can do that all you want. Oh! I don't know if you want to get into a chopping contest with Maverick. I think, sure those, don't. I think those chops could chop down any tree here in Missouri. You could, I can feel that over here with those scintillating chops by the raging bull. Like I said, one heck of a striker here in Maverick. Come on, Thor! Come on! <laughs> Screaming at him. Look at this. No. Come on, Maverick. And uh, no, again, no slouch. Three nice knife edge chops right across the chest of Maverick, tanning the hide, if you will. Oh. <laughs> What a hard hitting, hard hitting matchup we have in our opening contest this week on NWL TV. The ex Good Lord. The explosiveness of Maverick is unbelievable. I mean, both these guys are capable of it. Right now, we're seeing the Raging Bull do what he does best. And you know, you talk about this NWL STL championship as he continues to stop the mud hole in Thor, is that no one has been able, since he took that off, Todd Letterman. No one's been able to take it off him ever since. I mean, it's been months, and I don't think anyone's going to be capable of doing that. I have no. Well, I mean, Maverick has been on a roll since he since he did capture that NWSL championship. Corkscrew suplex over. form across the bridge of the nose and gets a two count. I could have sworn that was it. Come on, what a Maverick high impact contest so far. Definitely a 
two big men showing their, their strength in this, but now we go back to another wear down move by Maverick, and Drew Gold just pacing on the outside. I know, Ben, you're, you haven't had an opportunity in this match yet to say anything horrible about Drew Gold because he's out there directing traffic, doing exactly what he's paid to do. It's only a matter of time before this Svengali of the NWL sticks his nose in where it doesn't belong, and I expect Ortario to stick his boot in his face if that happens. Oh, no way. You can't catch that guy, it's fast. Going back up to his feet now though, come on now. As you can see in the screen there, look at all the channels that the NWL is on now. It's amazing how fast this company is growing, and with action like this, it's easy to see why. Here we go. Oh, reverse elbow strike in the corner. This is where Thor Terrio shows that explosiveness, and he is on a roll here tonight. He's all amped up now. Watch out, Maverick. No. Oh. Oh. Went to the well one too many times. Maverick has him scooped up in a shoulder, and a beautiful power slam. Nick Chin in position two. And he almost got Thor Terrio there. Can Nick Chin count to three? This referee is horrible. Come on, man. Stop it. Nick Chin is one of the finest referees I've seen anywhere. He is our chief referee here, and I don't know what that says about the NWL. But come on, Maverick. Look at him just stalking his prey, Ben. What, what could Maverick be? Could he be going for that short shot, that running gory bomb? Oh, no. We, we might be getting... Oh, no, he spun out of it toward Tornado DDT. Nicely executed by Thor Terrio. Now Thor Terrio needs to capitalize on that offensive maneuver and try to pick up the one, two, three here. You're just able to spike him there. You better follow some up. And oh, no, 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 no. He could be going for that swan taunt yes. bomb. Yes. Maverick back up to his feet, though. What's this? Uh -oh. oh, now he's got him locked in. Uh -oh. He could be, no, Thor Terrio spins out of it. Nice arm drag. What a counter by Thor Terrio. And that rising knee to the face. And Maverick no, is no. staggered. Not this. Could be going for the Ragnarok. And, and Maverick dumps to, well now, oh, Thor Terrio clotheslines him to the outside. Get up, Maverick. Maverick doesn't know what to make of this. He probably thought he had this match wrapped up with the sure shot, but that wasn't a sure thing as Thor Terrio got, I, that's the first time I've ever seen that gory bomb countered like that, and now Maverick. Look at that, Drew Gold told him not to go in. He's about to get counted out, but he retains the championship if that happens. Drew Gold maybe being the smarter guy here. Wait, wait, what's the count? Nick Chin, he, he's up to seven. That was Drew, nine. It's over. It's over. Wow. Thor has won the match, but he does not win the championship. And Drew Gold, in some ways, is smart. He retains the title. Ladies and gentlemen, your Drew winner could... via countout, Thor Terrio. Well, there's the official announcement. Thor Terrio does not get the belt on the count on a countout. Hey, this is Steve Richards from the ECW, WCW, TNA. ROH and WWE, and you're watching the best independent wrestling here in the world, NWL. This is the first match in the NWL Tag Team Tournament to crown the first ever Tag Team Champions. And an auspicious way to start is these two oh, gentlemen right gentlemen, here, this is the Howlers. First round match in a tournament to crown the inaugural NWL Tag Team Champions. Introducing first, from the Superior City of Los Angeles, California. Total combined weight, 500 pounds. Give it up for Leo and Marco, the Howlers. The greatest tag team in NWL history, Ben. I mean, what haven't they done? Table matches, ladder matches. They've never had an opportunity to win tag team gold here. And we'll see if they can pull it off by defeating the best team in the match tonight. There they are, Matt Fitchett and Davey Vega, the besties in the world, who have been on a win streak as a play. I mean, I don't, I can't even remember that many matches that these guys have lost in the NWL. Well, if anybody. Please welcome total combined weight, 400 pounds. First, from Granite City, Illinois, Matt Fitchett. His tag team partner from Cleveland, Ohio, Davey Vega. Together, they are the 
Japanese in the world. If anybody may be odds on favorites to win this tournament, it's going to be the best Balance. in the world, especially because the injury to Jax Royal has kept the world blood out of this tournament, which I'm sure is tearing Jax Royal up at home. But we want to send our best wishes to Jax Royal and a speedy recovery. You know what, Jax, whatever. Hope you get better. That's great. No, they wouldn't win this anyway. It's going to be the Howlets will take out. Obviously, they, they probably beat down the Royal Blood enough to get them injured anyway. They'll, the, they'll, they'll beat the besties. They'll go on. And the other side, you have Jack Bait. You know, of course, affectionately titled Jack Foster and Shark Bait taking on the foundation of Michael Strider and Ace Steel. Four great tag teams in professional wrestling. But again, how can you not give the nod to these two? I mean, the, the Howlett's, the Marco and Lionel Howlett have just done so much of the short history of NWL. They, they probably deserve to have the titles given to them. Love them or hate them, the Howlett's and the Royal Blood, some will say when they look back at the, an, at the annals of the NWL, they built the tag team division on all four men, both of these teams. And now it looks like Lionel Howlett is putting the boots to the dirty road. Well, the Blood Brothers, a.k.a. besties in the world, they obviously did a lot over in St. Louis as well, but now they're entering the world of the Howlets and the Royal Blood right now, and I don't know if they have the firepower to keep up with the Howlets. This is going to be one heck of a contest, and I can't believe we get to bring you this kind of action each and every week on NWL TV, and now Marco quick tags in and out the side of a great tag team, especially the Howlets. Look at that, putting the boots to Matt Fitchin in the corner. Again, tag into Marco Howlett. Oh, both gosh, these guys did you hear have, that? Both these guys have tagged for a while now, so I don't know who gets the experience back here. Look at this. Double drop, toe hole. Puts him in that, that uh, camel clutch and a single leg drop kick right to the bridge of the nose. Nicely executed. Besties only get a one count. Well, that's the problem. Marco the Howlett. besties are too worried about doing their little pose that they are trying to defeat a team. And that's going to hurt. Tag into that deceptively agile Leo Howlett as he gets on drag for his troubles by Davey Vega. Vega and Pitchett obviously going to be the quicker team of the two. They're outweighed by 100 pounds. But look at the, the power and the, the just, just pure evil, which I think in a good way, pure evil is what's going to bring the Howlett to the title. Beautiful standing drop kick. And one thing I want to know is if the Howards do advance and if the foundation advances, who are you going to root for? I mean, you're going to be torn. Know. It's tough. And the Howards and the foundation are both, they're all four fantastic gentlemen. Oh, nice arm drag takedown. Blind tag. Nice leg drop by Leo Howlett and Marco dropping a knee. And now Leo with a senton splash. Great double team wrestling by the Howlett. They're going to have to scrape Matt Fitchett off the ground. It's over. Can you, oh, look can you imagine what Major Basden will feel if the Howlett's are the first ever team to capture those NWL KC NWL Tag Team Championships? Uh, Major Basin may, that may not be a, a thing Major Basin wants in this company. The NWL is brought to you by Flying Monkey Beer, doing things that are fun with people who are cool since 1996. And by The Windy Wine Company, fun wines, good times. Also by Local Pig, located just east of City Market, a whole animal butcher shop featuring locally sourced animals raised outdoors with no hormones or antibiotics. X1051 is Kansas City's alternative. More music, less talk, all day. Listen for 105 minute non stop X blocks at 8 a.m., noon, and 4 p.m. And by Champion Tattoo and Body Piercing, Johnson County's premier custom tattooing and piercing studio. Stop by the shop located at 1016 East Santa Fe in Olathe, Kansas. of the two Howlets is Lionel Howlett, and that may make him the most dangerous Howlett of them all, but not discounting the fact that Marco may be the silence behind the violence. Nice, nice, nice little ride right there, man. Here we go, come on. Rolls him up right in the waiting arms. Oh, that move. and look at that, there's that drop kick.
that Lionel Howlett has done time and time again. One, oh, two, man. and pitch it's in to break up the Thank cover. Thank goodness he came in, otherwise the Howlett's move on. Now Marco Howlett staying on top of Dave Vega. Choking away, referee not seeing it. Smart, that's smart right there. Could that be a, the advantage that the Howlets need to move on in this tag team tournament? It would be fantastic if that's what caused it. Fidget lets him come in here, choke out Vega, because he had to go in there and try to cheat this match. Again, the Howlets are really controlling the pace of this matchup. They are making quick tags in and out of the ring, keeping the fresh guy always on the outside of the ring. And I think this is a smart game plan for the Howlets. This may be the key to victory for them here tonight. Davey Vega has been in there a really long time. He's definitely taking the brunt of the punishment tonight. And Vega, if that arm drops three times, and I hope it does, the arm is dropped twice, it's once more. It's oh, it's oh no! It this drives me nuts, it dropped. It did not drop all the way to the mat. Those are the rules in professional wrestling. Three times to the mat, and the match is over. And it looks like Davey Vega is using the power of the fans here to fire oh back on Lionel Howlett. Come on, Lionel. Oh, oh beautiful. Almost a full Pele kick connects with the side of the head. Whatever you do, don't let Matt fit it in. Lino, you get up, you get Vega, you take him over the corner, and you do not let Fitch get in this match. Davey Vega needing to, looks like Lino doesn't even know where he is, almost reaching out for a tag to the wrong corner. Matt Fitchett's arm is extended, so is Marco Howlett, yes. and Marco Howlett gets the tag. Thank goodness. Or Lino, yes. excuse me, gets the tag to Marco. And now Davey Vega struggling to get to Matt Fitchett. Yes. This is the Insiguri. Now he rolls through, there's the tag. There's the tag to Matt Fitchett. And Fitchett is in with a pair of, with a form and a nice Rana for Marco Howlett. Marco. What is he doing here? What's up? Oh, he went for the, he got him with the code red. Two, oh, no, he kicked out. We almost had the besties in the world in France in this tournament. Thank goodness Marco is not falling to this momentum right now. Oh, no, no, no. Why is he in here? Double team off it. Super kick to the side of the head. Drives him into the center of the ring. Fitch oh, with the no, cover, yeah, two. No. Oh, goodness. Thank goodness he kicked out because Lionel's still on the outside. They can't finish Marco. What are they doing now? Look at that, dragging them to the outside. Oh, rams his head right in that steel post. How's that feel? Fitch tries to go for a cross body block, gets caught. Spinning backbreaker, neck breaker, backbreaker combination. One, two, no, Fitch kicks out. How are both of these teams taking this punishment without a three count? Man, that was so close. Matt Fitchett almost got put away by the dastardly Howlins. And what are they, what are they doing here? Oh, come on. I was going to say Vegas out on Dream Street, but he comes in now. Close line, come on. Oh, pump thrust kick for Davey Vega. Fitchett gets a form, and there's that Pele kick that just took out Leo Howlett. And I just think Fitchett did that purely on instinct because he took a big right hand going in right into that, and now he's down on the ground. All four men just beaten and exhausted in this tag team tournament matchup. Like you said, the winner of this goes on to take on either Jack Bay, which is Jack Foster, and Anthony Shark Bay Gutierrez, or the foundation, your favorite tag. Hey, Steele, Michael Strider, heck, maybe even Jeremy White if we go those Freebird rules. I hope they do. I hope the company does that just for that reason. All four men make it back up to their feet at the same time. Oh. And the besties, well, now the Howlets. And now the besties back and forth, changing forearms. They're now switching. Oh, oh wow. Double team offense by the Howlets. Nice crisscross, boys. Yes. Oh, cannonball to the corner. Everybody out of the pool. Reverse cannonball to Matt Fitchett. This should be it. One, Davey's two, out. Here we go. no. Oh, Fitchett barely kicks out. This is horrible. 
Lionel means business. He took off that handkerchief. It's over now. Lionel Howlett never say die attitude. He gets met with two big boots by Davey Vega. You can't kill the house. Oh, did you see that? He dumped that in Seguri, and Marco Howlett took the brunt of it. I don't even know who the legal man is anymore. Well, it's Nick Chin's job. He obviously does a horrible job at that, too. Here we go. Nick Chin obviously seeing the importance of this tag team contest. Giving a little leeway to all four athletes in this. <laughs> Step up in Sakuri. A flurry of strikes by Davey Vega. They're chopping the big man down to size with a series of strikes. Oh, oh, oh. spinning kick right to the back of the head of Leo Howley. Come on, Marco. Fight for your brother. Come on, your cousin. Whatever they are. Come on. Two super kicks takes the legs out. This could be the smush right in double super kicks right on each side of Marco's head. Get up, get up, get up, get up, One, two, get up, get up. and Nick yes, Chin. Thank goodness. Was thank goodness. He was pulled out by Lionel. Unable to make the three count because Leo Howlett pulled Nick Chin to the outside. Oh. And there's a suicide dive for Leo Howlett. That was a cheap shot by Vega. Lionel's out there talking to Nick Chin. Here we go, here we go, oh, Marco. There's a roll nice schoolboy rope, handful of tight. Almost got Fitch in, diving knee strike. Almost taking a page out of Fitch's book. One, two, no. What a tag team contest we're seeing here tonight. Come on, Marco, put Fitch it away. Vega and Lionel still on the outside. Are they even gonna be able to get back into this match? Try to get him with that super kick. Here we go. Of course, Marco Vegas is now. Wait. wait, here. No way. Brain damage. They just hit Marco Hallett with brain damage. They're finishing move. One, two, three. No. And that's it. <laughs> the besties in the world have advanced to the final of gentlemen. the tag team tournament. And advancing to the championship tournament final. The besties in the world. What a horrible night for the Hallets. The Hallets clearly the best tag team in the NWL. And some move called brain damage takes them out. This is horrible. This is a miscarriage of justice. Unbelievable tag team contest you've seen here tonight on NWL TV. And now the most. besties in the world are one step closer to being the NWL, the first ever tag team champions. Well, we'll see how they match up with either Jack Foster and Sharkbait or the foundation in the finals, the first ever NWL tag team championship. Wow, what a contest we've seen the here tonight. Howlins. And we're not even done on NWL television. We just saw the besties pick up a win over the Howlins, securing a spot in the finals. They will face either the Foundation or Jack Foster and Sharkbait. Who are you guys rooting for? Well now, let's head down to the Control Center for Ben Miller's NWL update. Thanks, Marty. This is Ben Miller with the NWL update. Now there's so many things happening in the world of the NWL that it's almost hard to follow these days, but one thing that's consistent is the feud between Jack Foster and the Foundation. Now this past week we saw Michael Strider go one-on-one -on -one with Jack Foster. Now this matchup was everything you would expect from these two big bruisers. They went back and forth the entire match and then Jack Foster unleashed a surprise on Michael Strider and picked up the W and that was the Tongan death grip that he actually was granted permission to use by the Faces of Fear. Another news story coming out this week that I want to talk to you guys about is Marty Bell has a new opponent in the women's division by the name of Stormy Lee. Stormy Lee claims to be one half of the Bonnie and Clyde of pro wrestling with her boyfriend Francisco, who also made his debut at this week's NWL Live event. Now, this match was something that I wasn't expecting. Stormy Lee really brought it to Marty Bell, and this match went back and forth for quite a long time until eventually Marty Bell picked up a huge victory with a new submission move, which I cannot wait to give some cool name to later on down the road. But Marty Bell very much showing that she is the dominant female in the NWL. Now that's it for this week's NWL update. If you want to see when the NWL is coming to your town, go to shop.nwleague.com and get the latest info on when we're going to be in your area next and pick up some tickets and we'll see you at the event. 
I'm Ben Miller, and we'll see you next time on the NWL Update. Welcome back, wrestling fans. It is time for our main event of the evening. This no disqualification match, well, I'm very excited to see it. I cannot wait for this match. Dag Draper, Blaine Meeks. As you saw last week, Dag got really personal with me when I questioned him about dodging Blaine Meeks. Now he can't dodge it anymore. It is go time for the champion, Dakota Draper, as he goes one-on-one -on -one with Blaine Meeks in a no DQ match. This match may not be for the weak of heart if you're watching at home. It, it could get ugly. It could get ugly. I'm just really looking forward to finally finding out if Blaine has got what it takes to take that title from Dak. Let's get down to ringside. I want everyone to take two things away from tonight. Everyone's noticing the big picture. Everyone is noticing the Kansas City Championship rematch against Dak Draper. Yes, but the second thing that no one has noticed is that I'm still standing. Blaine Meeks, you know you had that coming because you picked and you picked and you picked and you picked until you'd gone too far. I lost my knee, but I'm gonna face Dakota on September 2nd and he's gonna have to take my life if he thinks that I'm not walking out of there with the NWO Kansas City Championship. The games were over, the games turned to battles, and Captain KC, the battle turned into a war. Dak, you had your shot. So when Blaine Meeks and I face off one-on-one -on -one for the NWL Kansas City Championship, he's gonna be in there with a different guy than he faced the last time. But there's something my father used to tell me, and that's to get something you've never had before, you have to do something you've never done before. When I get disrespected, I get disrespectful. Shame on you. Here we go. It is main event time here at the Scottish Rite Temple in Kansas City, Missouri. Ladies, Captain KC. This life tonight against the NWL KC
your referee, Nick Chin. Introducing first, the challenger. From Austin, Texas, weighing 195 pounds, he is the man without fear, Captain KC Blade Meeks. Let's see if he can he got the hold of his end of this match against Dak Drake. Look at the look on Captain KC. And Casey. his opponent, from Denver, Colorado, weighing 250 pounds, he is the reigning, undefeated NWL Kansas City champion, the Mile High Magnum, Dak Draper! There he is, the king of the mountain here in the NWL. Love it or hate it, Dak Draper has taken on all comers and defeated them all. The hatred between these two, and look at that, is Dak. Dak just loses a loogie on the face of Blaine Oh, there we go, and we are underway here in this no disqualification match, and the staff couldn't hold back the hatred of Blaine Meeks any longer. The staff obviously there, probably sent by Major Basin, so Dak Draper with the tank and with the crap out of Oh, there we go with the suicide dive to the outside, and he takes out the Mile High Magnum. Come on, Dak, get up. Come on, and Dak is already woozy. Come on, Blaine Meeks is attacking Dak Draper now. And what, the, the staff should be out here at this point. This may, this may spill out into the parking lot. There is no rules, no disqualifications, no count outs. Only one man will leave here with the victory and the NWL championship. And I can still contend today. Look at Blake, just the big right hands. I can still complain that Dak Draper should have never had to put his championship on the line against Blaine Meeks ever again. Face. What is this? Has he had enough? Has the hatred boiled over? Is he oh. going to be able to put an exclamation point on this match and put away Dak Draper once and for all? Oh, and you're okay with this? You're okay with him picking up that chair? Dak Draper, he's telling him to do, do it. it. Do it! Anybody just like me! He said, he said, you're going to be just like me if you hit me in the head. And Blake Meeks, oh, and he just kicked him in the knee. He fooled him. He fooled him. And another mile high, Dr. Bob. Here we go. And this is it. Two and three. Oh. No! Once again, Blake Meeks has fought out of the Dr. Bob, too. How did he kick out twice out of the Dr. Bob? And it's true, look at the psychological games that Dak Draper is playing on Blaine Meeks, telling him you're just like me if you hit him with the chair, and he was dumb enough to fall for it. Blaine Meeks decided to once again go the high road, and I thought that was his undoing, as another mile high Dr. Bomb almost put away Captain KC, but he keeps fighting on. Come on, Dak. Come on, don't let the blood or anything else stop you. Put this man away once and for all. Dak Draper looks almost lost. He looks like he doesn't know what else he can possibly do. Oh my God, wow. look at that strength. Superplex is Blade Meeks back into the ring. And both men are feeling the effects of this war. Two, no, oh and once again, Blade Meeks refuses to lose at the Scottish Rite Temple. Did you see the superplex from the apron? That is amazing. I, Dak Draper, he, he has no bounds for what he can pull off in professional wrestling. And look at Blade Meeks there, writhing in pain. He can't take out Dak. Dak can't take Meeks. out him. Who is going to win this? And here comes the chair back in play. Come on! Come on. Dak Draper once again picking up that steel chair. What is he planning to do with it? Is he planning to put on ice? Play mix, play mix moves. And Dak Draper, that, he gets hit with his own chair. Comic no. mischief connects. No. Connects right in the center of the ring. No, 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 no. Could we have a new heavyweight champion? No, no. Dak yes. Draper gets his left yes. shoulder up. Yes. Unbelievable. 
Jack Draper accidentally hitting himself with the chair, then taking another comic mischief and kicks out. Give Dak some credit, Ben. Jack Draper showing the heart of a champion. This stupid oh, thing. You, is it the cape? The cape. Oh my God. The cape is out. Or Blade Meeks. He thinks he's a superhero. Could this be the little extra that Blade Meeks needs? I fought this for so long. I hated the cape, but dang it, tonight, Blade Meeks, I believe. I believe you can do this. You can get Dak Draper. Get him, champ. Get him. Come on, Dak. <laughs> Look at the stupid cape. There Dak you Jack. go. Blade no. Meeks has him down. One, two, no. No, no. once again, the champion will not be beat. Look at the face of Blade Meeks. He knows he can't take out Dak. He has the cape. He still can't take out Dak. This guy needs a medal ward. He thinks he's a superhero. He is not. He is going to be a loser in this match tonight. Dak Draper will not. Oh, and he just got drunk down to the canvas by his own cape. Them's the breaks, kid. Why would you wear that cape in the ring? It's just something else to drag you down by. Blade Meeks is the superhero that we all need here in the NWL. Oh, come on. Someone like him needs to beat Dak Draper here tonight. And look, he doesn't even care. He's he's tie, almost tying a knot around his neck. I think Dak broke the broke the cape. And oh, then, oh, he just shot blocked him. That knee went the wrong way. Well, maybe he shouldn't be worried about his stupid cape. Blade Meeks, dang it, he got shot. That knee buckled. Did you see that? His knee buckled the wrong way. Come on. I, I'm at a loss for words. That was a sickening chop block. Come on, Dak. Oh, and he just chucks the chair into the back of Captain KC. The shark known as Dak Draper is smelling the chum. It's time to put this away. Blade Meeks, that cape still getting in the way, and Dak Draper is incensed, and he is beating the light. He is, what is he doing here? He's wrapping that cape around Choke the him. rope. He's using Blade Meeks' cape to choke the life out of look at the look on Captain KC's face. I love the symbolism of the superhero being choked out by his own cape. He's hanging Blade Meeks by his own cape. One, referee Nick Chin checking on him. Two, oh, come on, Blade, come on. Breathing. Three, and yes. that's it. Yes. That's it. Dak Draper has choked out Captain KC with his own cape. How apropos that he brought Ladies this jump cape into the winner, ring. Still he has lost. Kansas City champion, Dak Draper. Dak Draper was, look at the look on Dak Draper's face. Midnight Guthrie saying that he is still the Kansas City champion. Oh, come on, Dak. The this? match is over. The match is over. What are you trying to prove? The war isn't over you know yet. When Yo, people come think on, Dak. that they're my equal. Come on, Dak. You can't agree with this, Ryan. You cannot agree with this. Oh, dear God. Dear God, why? He's hitting. He's, he's crushing that knee right into the... Look and at he that. shoves Nick Chit down. Oh, Will you stop? Somebody needs to get out there and stop the Mile High Magnum. Back is snap. Somebody get out here. He's, he could be breaking the leg. A blade meets the match is over, Dak. Get a clue. Look at him now. He's attacking staff members. He's, he's snapped tonight. He's had too much. This has been building for so long. He's let the emotions he get the better the of him. He won the damn match, and now he's trying to... He's trying to injure and maim Blade Meeks. Get a hold of yourself. That's our Kansas City champion? Are you kidding me? Look, he obviously has spoiled over emotions at this point. Blade Meeks has been toying with them for months, and now he wanted to finish the job. I don't think he meant to do that. I think he just snapped. Midnight Guthrie is beside himself here, trying to attend. Blade Meeks does not want anybody to. Can we even show this? Somebody get down there and get Blaine Meeks on a stretcher and get him out of here. Look at this staff trying to, unre to release his leg. Referees down there and like Blaine Meeks is obviously in so much pain after taking multiple chair shots to that already injured left knee. Somebody's got to do something about Dak Draper. The match was Folks, over and he Folks, we got to attend to Blaine Meeks if you... Uh, 
Uh, if you could just please make your way out of the arena. We gotta get some medical staff in here to help Blade Meeks. Uh, this is such an unfortunate situation. Matt Jackson, Major Bates in here. I mean, they're all they're all here worried about Blaine Meeks' left knee. I mean, that obviously looked like that something bad happened to it. I, I don't know what happened at this point. Ryan, we need just for one second, just for one second, stop. Like, there's something seriously wrong with Blaine Meeks. And somebody's, we gotta get him medical attention. This is a serious situation, folks. I, Blaine Meeks looks to be seriously injured here. They're taking off that bottom rope so they can try to get Blaine Meeks onto a stretcher and taking out a Scottish right. Blaine Meeks' left leg is just purely in, uh, this is This is horrible for Blaine Meeks. I, I do feel bad for him now. I, I do think Sam, I, I think Dak Draper just snapped and just, and just crushed that leg. I, I think he did it subconsciously, Ben. Come on. Folks, we got, we, we got more serious matters to tend to. Uh, check nwleague.com for all the updates. I'm being really to see you